Hi guys, this video is for students who are done with your inter one group or both groups looking to join your article ship especially those who are done with both your groups. Now, there are some common questions that you have which firm should I select sir, how to apply, how should my resume be and what are few interview tips. I am going to give you guidance for all of this. Sir, who are you to give guidance in all of this? When I applied for my article ship, I am not joking, I applied for 15 firms. I got selected in 11 firms, I had to choose which firm I had to join, that was one facility, one option I had. Same way my wife is also a chartered accountant who did article ship in big four. So I have fair bit of idea of few do's and don'ts and some effort that you have to put, maybe that will help some value for you. First, quickly which firm should I choose? There are largely three types of firms, I am going to keep this very crisp, clear so you can help you decide faster. We have the big 4 and big 8 in India, in Chennai or in most metro cities. Big 4 you know, what is big 8? Apart from the big 4, you have some more global firms like BDO, like Grand Thornton. These are also there in Chennai and other locations. Big 4 we all know the 4 firms EY, Deloitte, PwC and KPMG. This is one set of elite firms, we call them MNC firms. Next there are other large firms. They may not be the big four or big eight or big six, but in India they have a very, very strong name, powerful big firms. For example, like M2K, ASA, then RG and Price. There are so many amazing firms over here, other large firms where I did article ship, NC Rajagopal and Co, S Venkat Raman and Co. These are all very, very big firms where you get almost a big four level exposure. Next is your small and mid size firms where predominantly the work will be surrounding around tax and audit. Sir, which firm should I apply depends on your interest. Let me give you a quick guidance. Sir, I am very determined, I want to excel only in direct tax or I want a field in indirect tax, I want to work in audit, I am very clear I want to go to big four and work. Now, it is not easy to get into big four. If you apply today, will you get into big four tomorrow? No. The pro selection process, if 1000 students apply, only maybe 10 people might get. Few criteria for the big 4 and big 6. You need to clear your CA inter in the first 1 to 3 attempts. You should have been a first attempt student or first or second or third attempt. Preferably both groups together, even if groups are separate, it is fine. If you get into big 4, do not look back. It is like Getting into Indian cricket team, now thinking, I oh, should I play for Indian cricket team, let me go back and play for the state team, no. Getting into big four is a global opportunity, you get immense exposure, you get lot of audits. So, if you get there, take that. How to apply sir, I do not know anybody sir, that only is next step. How to apply, I will teach. Other large Indian firms, there are so many in Chennai, in the description of this video, I will give you a link, which is an excel, little old excel which someone shared to me top 25 CA firms in Chennai, you can download that excel and see that also, that will help you with list of some firms uh, like M2K, ASA, RG and all these firms, you can apply to those, those firms also. The working hours if you see, big 4 means it is going to be little hectic guys, do not expect to go to a big 4 and work 10 to 5, no. If you are ready to slog, if you are ready to work hard. If you are ready to reap the benefits of the exposure in big four, go there with the mindset that yes, I am going to work hard. If your mindset is you want to work only 10 to 5, weekends I want leave, I want time to study, then you have a lot of small and mid sized firms that will accommodate your needs, only in the tax audit season you might have to slog extra. Sir, what about other large firms? Here also you have to work hard guys, maybe not as much as a big four. Maybe 5 to 6 months in a year, there will be lot of work, but the kind of exposure work is almost similar to big 4, only technology wise maybe a little bit behind, but otherwise in large firms also you get lot of exposure. This is a decision you have to take, how much are you willing to work, where are you getting. My always preference will be if you get a big 4 or any other large firms, take it. I will tell you to work hard during article ship because this is the only time you will learn a lot. The more you learn now after qualification you will get a good job. Next going to how to apply, this is the most sought out question most students ask me. Sir, how, so, how should I apply to any of the above firms, how to get in? 
look at this how to apply first take a resume and print your resume keep the hard copy of it and every firm will have an hr email id mail to everybody don't send one mail to everybody for example you need to build customized mails for each of the firms mail them take print sir why should i take print you have to visit the office what i used to do during my article ship i took the print i used to go for example there was one firm called nc rajagopal and co where i did my article ship amazing firm when i went i didn't know they had an email id when i went there and visited that day interview was going on they said please wait for one hour we will take your interview on spot i got an interview so what i did that time i had an activa black color activa i printed 20 resumes i map chennai mailapur nungambakkam t nagar i put in mailapur there are four firms i want to go in t nagar there are four firms i want to go i went to mailapur in the morning 9 am till lunch i finished all the firms in mailapur then i went to t nagar i gave my i will go and hand over my resume some firms they will not respect you they will take your resume maybe they will wipe their face and throw it out don't take any hard feelings go next day for example there was one student who wanted to get into a firm called asa that student was very particular they visited asa two to three times then the partner saw that this firm this particular candidate is interested they at least gave them an interview opportunity okay so that is you visiting office shows that you are interested they use the term called gotb that means get out of the building get out of the building where you are staying and go there even though it's an internet age go visit the office only when you visit the office you will know the vibe of the workplace next linkedin dms some firms partners are active on linkedin go connect with them on linkedin but don't spam them hello sir i want to join your firm please tell me what to do connect with them on linkedin and then comment on their post positively show them that you are also a professional on linkedin who's interested to do article ship so so that get their attention on linkedin so maybe when they are doing interview with you they'll be like oh you are the one i saw yesterday in my phone night on linkedin post so be get active on linkedin last one not everybody is privileged to have this maybe your brother is working in that firm or your senior is working there or somebody you know is working there referrals referrals the advantage is sir if i do referral will i get the job no referral will help you directly to get into the interview and from the interview it depends on your skill that is why the next discussion for us is what should we do in interview and how should my resume be guys ideally i should have discussed this first now how should my resume be standard rule strict rule it should be one page when i say one page it is one side just to one side don't make a four page resume i don't have the time to read it nobody has the time to read it one side to grab the attention second don't copy from other resumes make your own resume adopt from other resumes because hr will know if you copy if you take from chat gpt be yourself have your individuality which matters take a color resume which works one smart hack that i did i had resumes in multiple colors when i applied for deloitte my resume had green color theme when i applied for pwc my resume had an orange color theme when i applied for ey i had a yellow color theme why i had different gt i had a purple color theme i used to have different resume for each firm so that they will know th- my resume has to stand out guys very simple they will get thousands of resumes in a day how will should my resume stand out that's it so color so what let it cost a little more make a professional resume not a stupid resume on word your photo if you have a professional photo you can add your photo on resume also nothing wrong in that if you have it add it otherwise leave it get it reviewed by somebody you might think your resume is the best if i cook biryani i will think my biryani is the best get it reviewed by somebody some professional talk to seniors send it get their feedback okay next in the interview few do's and don'ts please 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 go in full formals if you don't have formals buy it i purchased new formal shoes formal pant formal shirt everything for resume if you have a blazer of your dad or somebody in the house wear the blazer also i will tell you a personal experience in gt when i was working in gt there was only one vacancy 75 students came for interview lastly it was selected with top two people then my director had to pick between one of them 
both were very good very good we didn't know whom to pick then the partner said this candidate wore a blazer that means he is more interested in the role these are small things he got picked just because he wore a blazer so you need to wear matching blazers don't wear a pink blazer and a white shoe wears professional attire you can easily find lot of samples in pinterest and instagram etc hair properly groomed nails properly trimmed if you have beard shave it off no beard in interviews try to look professional like an army person guys you have to go talk politely in the firm don't go ask them stupid questions in the reception be very polite be honest if you don't like something tell you don't like doing that if you don't know tell i'm very if i ask you a question what is as9 accounting policy for accounting for interest you remember sir i remember this answer but now i am not able to recollect i am very sorry maybe if you give me time i will revise and get back then you can ask me questions they will choose you only based on honesty guys they will ask you can you work long hours yes sir i will sleep in the office if you want be honest yes sir i will try my best to work long hours i am okay with working long hours but sometimes if i feel stressful i will openly tell you that i am feeling stressful they will appreciate this answer over somebody trying to be fake revise the syllabus just now you cleared inter so your standards and auditing accounting standards law companies act few csr questions sir income tax and gst especially your tds tax audit form numbers gst form numbers filing deadlines tds deadlines all those you remember and go revise once because that they will ask those questions in article ship interview so these are few tips regarding article ship anything else that you want let me know in the comments if more people are asking for that i will give you more guidance on that thank you so much all the best